Hey friends, I'm coming to you with our heroic POV kill of Sludge Fist and I'll talk through what goes through my mind and positioning the tank, positioning as a tank in this fight and whatnot. First off, you're dragging him off slightly off to the middle of the room and we're going to use this first pillar here for the first uh, charge over here. And basically you can see that I'm always started stepping and moving together in tandem with my cold tank, making sure that this destructive storm does not clip any of the pillars here is really important. You want to make sure that both tanks are always stacked up because he does something called Giant Fist where he not only strikes the active tank but also strikes its nearest target to the active tank. So that person should always be the off tank, in this case the prop paladin in this raid comp. Now over here the Slash Fist will do one second stomp here and right after that he will immediately do charge. So on every second stomp the tanks can actually stand out here and bait Sludge Fist towards the pillars here. So right off the bat, I'm using Weapons of Order and Offensive Cooldown. And I'm using my DPS pawn here, as you guys can see in this weak aura. Because Sludge Fist takes additional damage when he's stunned and he charges a pillar. Now the next part of the room that we're going to is this corner here in Triangle. You're basically using this second pillar to the left here as the next charge point. So we are pulling him to this corner and you can see that we slowly rotated out in a clockwise fashion. This is to ensure that even at max range, we can stay in range of the healers. And as you might know, there's a lot of damage on tanks. So it's very important that I'm staying in range of my healers and I don't outrange them by standing in this corner here. So once I position Sludge Fist, I'm always rotating outwards to get heals. Now he'll do raw and immediately after raw you should always run against the raw to make sure that Sludge Fist doesn't really move. As you guys can see the 20 yards is perfect, it doesn't clip the pillar here, that's super important. And right after that was the second storm, so he will always do charge. So we are standing behind a pillar. This is a fight that is really really simple, it's really just a gear check and a DPS check. And making sure your healers don't break the chains unnecessarily. Your healers and DPS both actually. Now right after this fourth um, sorry, the second charge into a pillar, he will do the fifth stomp. And we are positioning the fifth stomp closer towards the side of the room here, just to maximize space. As you guys can see, I popped my Hakar trinket here, just to make sure I survive the hits here. Lots of damage incoming. Now I will be going left with my cold tank when he does the fifth stomp here, right? And this is the important part. After the fifth stomp, we are positioning the boss all the way at the other corner of the room, the final quadrant, well, the third quadrant actually. You guys can see I taunted the boss so he moves a bit faster. And now we are back paddling into the corner of the room because he's still too close to the pillar. The 20 yards will clip the pillar and destroy the pillar. So we need to kite the boss further into this little tiny corner here, which is perfect. Now we have done that. I'm slowly rotating outwards to ensure I get heals from my range stack here, which is where my healers are. And immediately after this six stomp, he would do gaze, which is why you see me dashing into you know, the behind the pillar here to ensure that I bait Slash fits onto this pillar and this is where he takes double damage and there's still some open space here so this is where I'm going to tank Slash Fizz for the seventh stomp before moving him slightly I believe. Now DPS checks here is really tight on this fight you cannot afford to be carrying DPS on the first week of heroic of course with more gear your DPS will naturally go up but this is a very tight DPS check that's for sure we, we learned it the hard way so we can't afford a single deaths on DPS. And this is basically the seventh stomp. So again, keeping protecting the last and final pillar, making sure that the stomp does not clip it is important. And this is when he starts below 20%, he starts enrages and starts hitting harder. So that is when you know your healers need to watch you a little. But as you can see, like there's heavy rate damage, and even on the tanks, there's quite a fair bit of damage on me. Now this is basically the final stomp and he will charge right after this and I'll use this final pillar here. You guys can see the entire room is starting to be filled up with rubble and we just need to use our space really efficiently here. As a tank I'm now thinking that okay the space that we have is in the middle of the room so I'm telling my cold tank the next tanking spot will be in the middle of the room where Sludge Fizz currently is stunned and this is where we go into execute range he's starting to enrage now he's gonna hit a lot harder as you guys can see, moving against the Colossal Roar to minimize the movement from Sludge Fist after the pushback. And basically lots of heavy stagger coming in and popping my Hakar Trinket here. 
just to absorb some of the blows. I believe I use Zen Mat here even to the end to just stagger to basically mitigate one of the melee swings from him. Rolling out for the stomp and he's finally dead here. So it's a really really simple fight to be honest with you. It doesn't require a lot of fancy mechanics. At the end of the day it's all about your movement as a tank. Positioning the boss in such a way that you are not line of sight from your healers and not too far away from your healers. Those are you know, the primary reasons why we died on progression. Making sure you move in a coordinated fashion with your core tank so that the melee DPS does not get smacked by the boss. Those are the most important things. And other than that, just remember to move out, position the boss uh, for the hateful gazes and you'll be completely fine. Just make sure you pump DPS and the boss will die. So all in all, I hope the video was helpful. If it was, do subscribe to the channel. I publish daily Shadowlands content on this channel. And if you want my user interface and my weak aura for my tank, you can download it in the description below. Thank you so very much for your support and I'll see you in the next video.